2000, I think, is when I first heard the word autism. My daughter was diagnosed as autistic. And I didn't understand what that meant. They gave me a sheet of paper, basically, and told me these are the characteristics of autism. And at the time, she really didn't meet those characteristics. And then my other two children were diagnosed with autism and the same repeated behavior from the doctor. So it put me in a position to be my own researcher. The questions were just endless, just truly endless. And it, it puts you in a position that you never thought you would be in. And nothing is normal anymore. Nothing at all is normal. They're, the way they sleep, the way they eat, the way they interact, nothing is normal. And you, you start to pick up on that and you start to mourn those things. You see it in other children, other families, the general, typical interactions you don't have with your own. And it's, it's hard. It's, it's very hard. And um, that mourning continues. And then even in the midst of that mourning, you're still fighting to try to find answers because you want answers. You don't want to settle. It affects every area of your life. It changes. It turns your world upside down. It affects your relationships um, maritally, with family and friends, because you start to become more distant because no one can understand it. I think it's made me more of a fighter. I really do. Um, it's so easy to sink into that pit of despair and depression and wonder why me. I, I, um, quite frankly, I had those moments. You know, I gravitate back towards that. You know, I think about, wow, my daughter's 15, almost 16 years old. And I think about the things that we could have been doing together as mother and daughter, you know. And I say, well, that, that wasn't God's plan. He had another one, but I know there's a purpose behind it. It's absolutely a purpose. He must have known I was a fighter because he gave me three of them. At some point in time, it's as though something kicks in. And instead of feeling defeated, you start to fight more. When my children's pediatrician said to me, you just need to accept that your child will never be normal. I know that was the moment that it just sent me on that course. So now I, I'm going to find a way. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to find something. To find someone that makes that connection and fully understands the struggle that you're going through it, it changes everything. It's a world of difference. You don't feel alone. It eases the pressure on you. It lifts the burden.